Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ with daily insight on the NASDAQ 100 index or the NDX, which is made up of 100 of the largest domestic and international non-financial innovative companies listed right here on the NASDAQ stock market. The NDX has been the barometer for U.S. large cap growth and also one of the best performing indexes over the last decade and a half, not to mention one of the most liquid index ecosystems in the world. With just under two hours to go until U.S. stocks close, the Nasdaq 100 is trading sharply lower, along with the broader market in another very volatile week of trade, following a trading halt this morning shortly after the open. If you take a look at that chart, you can just see how much volatility is there within an intraday. This is the worst week for stocks since the financial crisis in 2008. As coronavirus fears accelerate, a long-term fiscal response is still in limbo, and the virus has not shown signs of leveling off. Markets need to see stability and strategy. That said, stocks paired some losses on the Fed coming in in a massive way. The New York Fed is to conduct purchases across a range of maturities to support bond markets, injecting one and a half trillion over three months of liquidity over the life of the program. Stocks have traded back down, however, as investors are focused on getting a handle on the coronavirus and what does that mean in terms of how well liquidity is functioning. Let's look ahead beyond the coronavirus and where long-term opportunities exist with this pent-up demand. Jeffries put out an interesting call this morning. Analysts picked 11 stocks that have been unfairly punished caused by fears of a recession due to the virus fallout. Of the 11, five were NASDAQ 100 names, including Amazon, Activision, Microsoft, Texas Instruments, and Vertex. From the NASDAQ market site in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ.